these tutorials might be more bite sized. Okay. All right, great. And this is, um, oh, this is, oh, Marilyn, great. Yeah, um, just, just real quick, because I, I got to get back to work. Yep. Um, I'm not even going to really touch on this. I, this, ignore this, I did something that you told me not to do, and I didn't remember not to do it, which was to run the thing. Oh, yeah, That's use the, the run button. That. Yeah, yes. it tries to compile everything all as one big program. Yeah, and so when I just put in LS, I still got two... But I got to figure out, I have to look at this though, because it's not um, all of these red lines. I got to figure out why I'm getting the red lines. And so that I, I want to figure that out. And I then, can help you with that. The then, reason is that because you need to be saying them the strings by putting them in double quotes. You're just like, if there's no um, double quotes on there, they're going to be the words. Not to mention on a few times you add a capital S for string, but it's actually lowercase s. Yeah, the, the Java has Java. the capital S. And C++, yeah. plus the build library objects are lower. But yeah, you need to be putting all those names inside double quotes for that errors to go away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. that's cool. And, and then for your map, uh, let's take those one at a time. So um, who was that speaking? Was that Jacob? Yeah. Um, so Marilyn, if you scroll down the this quoted strings would apply to the errors on line 37 through 41. Yeah. So Sylvester, Keanu, Vin, all, all those folks, their names need to be in double quotes. Okay. And, and so then another thing on there is that at the top, you're using a type def to define a type that already exists. You can't do that. Where, where was that? That's the low, on the lowest error. It says on line 30, I can't really see what line is, but it's the very last air. It says string declared here. Uh, and type of basic string char. Uh, yeah. You're defining a, or you're trying to redefine a type that already exists. Yeah, we need a line number. Oh, you're looking at the errors. I see. Um, yeah. The very last one that says string declared here, type def basic string char string. Yes. Yeah, you can't use the string. It's already been taken. It okay. can be basically anything that hasn't been taken by C++. I have a feeling that that, was a, that error is a product of, yeah, uh, of not importing line. string. Yeah. Not including. Um, yeah, if you didn't do a type def, I don't think you did, then that's probably what it is. Okay, um, and then Marilyn, for your map, uh, you need to uh, include the standard map library to use that map. Um, and so if you scroll to the top of your file, um, oh, you do have include. I think it's, um, you need to, continue with your map definition. So let's go back to 33 or 36. So you're almost there. So you need to tell it that you're going to be mapping a string to another string. So inside your left and right carrots, you'd say map open carrot string comma string title map because your the key is string and the value is string. So on line 36, jump into those carrots. Okay. And add a, it'll be comma string because your key is string and then your, which is the title and then the value is the actor. See, now that's happy. And when we'll do the, and then quote those up. Just put quotes around all the names. Yep. Good. And then um, for those of you still on while Marilyn's working on that, I'm going to pause your screen share, Marilyn, for a second. Okay. And then um, I just updated the main index for us. And so if you want to check out some of these, so do a refresh on here. I just added to the external resources. So check out the Learn CP 
com, which might be a, like I said, a more bite-sized set of tutorials that are, um, I've, I've looked at a few of them and they're, they're well-written and they, it's, it's definitely not just clickbait stuff. So there's some decent work in there. Um, it has a lot of ads, but at least it's free. Um, and then I just posted the, the book from Jacob. Um, and then unfortunately, um, the C++, the library documentation and such are so technical that um, unfortunately they haven't, uh, they're even, they're, they're technical enough that I have to really wade through them a whole bunch um, because I'm still learning C++. So these may not be the, the first place to go for learning about stuff, but at least knowing that the official library documentation is there. Um, and then we'll keep building that list out as we go. Um, good. So other questions uh, out there? Yes. While, yep. So here, let me, I, I am on my laptop here and like over here I have my PC. So, and like my PC actually has the code. So let me screen share from here. All right, let me unmute myself. So the issue I'm running into is when I try to run it, like basically it looks through the list that I hand it over here, which generates a bunch of random stuff. And 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 if it, and this is just, the, the issue it runs into is it checks only like half the list and then breaks out of the loop. And <clears throat> here, right, let me run it. And the issue it runs into is it like run for some reason it asks for an extra coin, which I never ask it to do. I never <laughs> coded it to enter another coin. <laughs> what do you mean? So I just, like in the it, when I made the when I made the coin class, I have it so I have three different constructors: one that autofills data based on the name, uh -huh. one that autofills based on arguments, and one that autofills based on request. I never uh -huh. once used the noarg constructor. And yet it calls it somehow in the middle of creating all the coins. I have no clue how it does that. You must have made a coin using the no arg constructor notation and it called it automatically. Hmm. The only time I, I call the, the constructor is here, which uses the arguments of generating random values. And it may, it may you make the you make a vector. That should give you an empty vector and no coin. Um, that that is that's pretty that's pretty clever. Now we know that it was happening um, at the end of your sorting, so maybe that would be the place to go look. It, it hasn't even started sorting yet. Oh, this is this. It just spits out all the stuff that it generated. I see. That's your and that's your vector it, unsorted. Yeah. And then I just like type E two two two, and then when it runs through the sorter, it it says that it finishes sorting, and then displays all the results. It hasn't touched the array at all, and says that it checked thirteen items in the list and swapped none of them, which is weird because like the only time you can break out of the loop is after it completes the for loop, which it iterates. Well, which should iterate 30 times for the whole list. So either something got lost trying to translate the vector from from the main to the sorting algorithm, or yeah, let me, I have no clue. Uh, so it's be, you didn't pass in a, um, you're, it's making a copy of the vector when you call it because your bubble sort uh, is not accepting a, uh, a pointer, so it's using the copy, call uh, by copy. So you'll need to, when you call it, give it a pointer. Use mm -hmm. your. Um, so, let's see. Where's in your main. Sort? And this is good if anyone else is on the call, this is in the, the meat of kind of the stuff we're thinking about here. So, 
have it call a coin pointer like that? Uh, it's going to be uh, following the the carrot. Like that? The, the closing carrot. The, oh, the right face, sorry, the, the chevron, yeah. And now jump. And then, and then add, like, Yeah, list dot. Yeah, so then the dot will be replaced by an arrow. Just manually do this for everything. List one get value. Huh, now it's a vector coin. Now it's saying it's. It's not a pointer. Do, um, sorry, try putting, this is me learning pointers as well. Try putting the, the pointer bef uh, prepend before list. So up in your, in your method declaration, put the pointer right before the L in list. I'm going to pull up my code to remember how we were doing this. Mm. Not saying there aren't any. No, we had it right before. The pointer should the pointer should be trailing on the type definition. So we're, we're taking in the type pointer type called list. Now, now the next issue is there's no member named, but there, there's no member methods, which they're all down here. All the accessors and mutators that it's looking for are down here, but and it's it in says your, it can't find them. And it's in your public block? Yes. It, See, like the precompiler knows when something is private or not. Yeah. So, like, no viable overloader, no member, and no member. Can you uh, show me the error again when you? List I uh, try the um, should I like try go using back? try using the at function on your vector so it'll be list arrow now take get rid of the square brackets we're using at so we're accessing the member at and then I, the arrow will point to at and then in parentheses you give it the index. Yep. And then value of type. And then can you do dot get value? Dot get value. There uh, it is. And do some placing. Oh, what are you complaining about? Invalid offerings to binary expression. Oh, you you forgot your your dot. Uh, again. There. Okay, that that should be much happier. Okay, I'm buying I'm buying this Amazon book as we speak.
And now when you when you're done with that, then we'll need to tweak your um, tweak it where you call bubble sort, and you need to yeah. pass it tweak the, the main and so when you pass in a all right, so this is all fixed up. Go to so because it's looking for a pointer to a vector, you either need to make the make the variable itself, yeah, there a pointer, or extract the pointer value when you call it. No, it should it should be happy because point. Um, okay. I got to get back to work, okay? okay? Okay, Marilyn, thanks for sticking it out. Okay. Um, you're not available like tonight, are you? I'm, I'm available after Python for sure. Okay. Because yep. um, I want to make sure I have Git set up right. Yep, and once again, I wouldn't start worrying about Git unless you want to. Um, no. If you tell me not to worry, then I won't worry. Okay, don't worry about Git. Put Git okay. on the shelf for a little bit. Okay, then we'll we'll just take a, another look at the um, at the sort that I'm working on. Yeah, and okay. uh, and once again, uh, for folks that are still on the call, um, I your standard for fully baked is unique to where you are in C plus plus. So if you uh, if you make a good faith effort at even getting our integer sorting to work all in a big main method, um, that's perfectly fine. People are going to be at different levels and I don't want, uh, I don't want you to feel like you have to get to a certain point by Monday. I just want you to set a, having me having deadlines in my life of saying, okay, I'm going to make a good faith effort to learn a next chunk of stuff and try out a next chunk of code. That's what we mean by, trying to get a fully baked thing for Monday. So if you haven't accomplished all the specs in the, in the project, I don't want you to panic or feel like you, you haven't done something correctly. I, but I do want you to be able to say, I made a good faith effort for where I was and where my life is at this stage. That's beautiful. So, cause I, cause I, I, I'm learning C plus plus as well. And so we're all going to be at different, at different places. See, I knew there was a reason why I liked you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, I'm glad to have all of you in the in the class as well because we're learning and working on this together. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm just going to take an individual crack at this program, and then next week, if I'm still struggling, then maybe next Wednesday we can meet. Okay. Okay. So Good. we're not going to meet tonight. After after Python, go to sleep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Marilyn. It's nice having you around. Thank you. You too. Yep. Bye bye. Okay. Um, can we? Can you? Um, I'm gonna zoom in a little more. Um, is that cost? Yeah, I, I, I have an I have an enormous 32 inch monitor that was ordered because of a typo on a Black Friday sale. So. Thirty? Did you say 32 inches? Yes. It's. It's a, it's Wait, honestly. And, isn't that like a tele, a tele a television? Yeah, it's it's a small TV screen, but oh. like it's a, it's like an HP Omen <laughs> monitor that's oh, no. a bit too big. Okay, can you try just getting rid of your pointer reference at the beginning of twenty six? And coin it asks, it asks for now a pointer. Use, now use your arrow because now you're accessing a member through a pointer. Dash point. And then, what's the issue now? Use of undeclared, but. Hmm. I had this issue before. And now the reference. Oh, we need to. I think we need to dereference it. Hold on one sec. Well, 
of input you are uh, uh, sorting this coin class? Um, I'm sorting it by its value in cents here. It, uh, so you are taking that particular value? Yeah, like it it like calls yeah it calls a method in the coin class to pull a value from to pull this value here, mm -hmm. and it sorts it based okay. on that value. Okay. Yeah, I almost did the same thing. I mean, I'm I mean. I'm just sorting according to the grip size. I mean, I'm, my class is tennis racket. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, so I'm sorting it according to the grip sizes. So I'm just taking the integer. And, uh, but I'm not doing this whole thing. I'm new. Yeah. Push back. So coin jar is a pointer type and well it's it's member input coin Try giving it a, a, a pointer to the input coin and see what pushback says. I don't think that will help anything. Ah, uh, now if I turn that into a pointer to input, nope. No, no, the that would be on your type. No viable conversion from coin to coin pointer. You have to type new before coin. So yeah, then you can equals operator, then you can store a reference to it. Okay. And then change that to that to a pointer. pointer. Yep. All right. That should be everything. No fresh new errors. So that let's see what happens now. This is the big deal. Let's see. All right, test coin, whole bunch of test coins. Well, Segmentation fault. Oh no! We got we got back to that. There was one coin left. <laughs> it had one All coin right. left. All right, then let's go. So array just... is probably empty. It's it's not an array. It's a vector. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it's probably the vector is probably empty, with it, and you're trying to <laughs> let's see pull out an element from one that doesn't exist. All right. Let's just. Go with just 10 coins for starters. And then I have to do this even though it's completely useless. Not this again. All right, so. So this is why this is the most annoying error. It is. This is where we need the deb This is where having an IDE with a debugger is almost. It's, or it's hard to figure out what the right. I'll debug it for you. It's hard right. to figure out what the right, um, whether to ask people to install the whole system or use this. It makes it much harder to share and help. Um, I'm gonna look up in my. I've got to review my pointer and reference stuff. Uh, While they're debugging that for a second, um, anyone else on the call have uh, technical questions that we can help start mulling on? Yeah, I have one. Yep, who's I? Uh, Jacob. Okay. Here, I'm going to send the GitHub link into the chat then. Okay. For some reason, whenever uh, I send the method or the vector to the bubble sort, problem for some reason it's making a copy of the vector instead of just sorting it in place that's exactly the same thing that's going on with me did, did I've you actually solved it just by returning the new vector that I made a copy of but I really don't like that solution that much yeah did you um, let's see I'm looking at your code now Yeah, so the, the key is when you your bubble sort uh, function needs to take in a pointer to a vector of sticky notes and not 
uh, so it because right now it's making a copy of it. Oh, I so, see. Post pending vector sticky note close carrot with a, a, a asterisk will get you a a pointer in there, and then you'll need to use um, you'll need to use the at uh, function call for your vector access. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you that on. No, I remember the example. I see what you mean okay. now. I'm not passing it by a reference. Yep. All right. Then that's my question. Cool. So once again, if you, um, for those of you on the call still, uh, if, if the pointers and references are still muddy, too muddy, start with your integer sort and try doing it in a single function and can you sort an array of an array of integers using the method we described so try to try to get yourself boiled down to the smallest possible problem um, to solve before you even start tinkering with your objects you know life is really much easier when you don't use pointers and you just use references was that um that Ben? Yes. So use the use the static references. Yeah, I like doing that a lot better. Could you uh, show us an example sense. of that in your code, so we can take a look? Oh yeah, I can. Uh, can I pause your sharing, Jacob? No, I'm sharing. It's me. Oh, that's you, Ben. Yes. Uh, I got the debugger output. That's and I that's my sharing. code. He's looking at. Yes. Oh, great. It's here. That's where it crashes. Nope. Right there. This line. Yeah, that's why I said that. <laughs> um, but here in my code, for these sorting algorithms, it passes in a reference of the list. And it is declared in the header file just as a value, not as a pointer. No pointers, fewer problems, just in my experience. Oh, OK. I think this is preferred nowadays for modern C++. But So we are, so when we do that call and when it receives the object with yeah. the call, it uses the, the leading and will get us a reference to that object, which the non-pointer type variable will be happy with. I think so. We just, we just like, don't do that, and 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 maybe go here, and do this, and then do this. <laughs> and keep going. Now, how far can we get? It does not seg fault. This can you is go back the to the wrong one. This is the wrong project. That's why. <laughs> okay. Answer the coins now. Up, up. I think I did something wrong. No. No, that's fine. Do not save. Start the thing. Okay. Uh, three. Okay. Seems like it works. Can you show um, us where you adjusted the reference? Use the, the reference? Yes. I changed this. Oh, wait. I actually did forget to put a reference in there. Whoops. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and put some reference there. Okay. 
we don't have to pass in as a reference. We can just type that. If you have it take in a reference, it will take one in anyway. Let's try that. Make sure it still works. No crash. I don't know if that's working as intended, though. Oh, you can know. you guys not see? You probably. Oh, you guys. No, we can. Even. We can. This is good. I mean, can you see the output? No. There you go. No. Whoops. Yeah, that'll do it. See now? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yes, of, but it's still using, only like, checking pipe. like. It's only checking like half the list and then like hanging. One problem at a time. Yeah, one problem at a time. <laughs> well, um, Ryan, do you want to update it using the references? Yeah. Pointers, and then we can go from there. Okay. So where's your main loop? You got a, you got an infinite loop and a for loop. Why do you have two loops? So the so the main while loop is to keep the bubble sort running. The for loop is to just look through the whole list. And okay. it and after it runs through the list and checks how many times it made a change, if that if it changed more than if it changed more than zero items, keep going. But if it changed zero items, break out of the infinite loop and and display the results because if it made no changes, then there's nothing. To, then the list is sorted. Okay. Okay. Probably bad coding practice to use an infinite loop. Mm, yeah, that's what they tell you. Checks plus plus. Okay, so. First things first, let's stop there. And can we see the size of the list? No, I have to type stuff first. <laughs> okay. The size of the list is 10 items. Here. But our output our output gave us 10 items, right? As test point 0 to 9. Yeah. What am I not understanding here? Seems like it went through every item of the list. Oh, it didn't do anything else, huh? No, I, I don't know. Yeah, it checked half the right list here. and then. Oh, you're saying only sorted half the list? Yeah, it, it like. What I think it's doing is like it looks through the first five items in the list and then somehow like gets the idea that's enough. Or actually, let me. Let's. Let me check in the for loop. How many times Am are we I... going through this loop? We're going through this loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but ten times. I think you need to rewrite your looping. I think your while should be controlled by an actual variable instead of a break. Yeah, I, I tried that before and it did the exact same thing. But I mean I actually did something really similar. You can just have it do delta swaps. Um, uh, is greater than zero. I mean, uh, yeah. sorry, it equals zero, and um, then uh, you can just remove this whole part. So now, whenever delta swaps increment, it'll check it again and be like, "Oh, that's not zero, but it resets to zero every time. Well, don't need to do that either. No, wait, I've done it wrong. When it equals zero, you want to break. So when it does not equal zero, do that. So. No, I've confused myself. Okay. You, oh, swaps. you still consider. want to get rid of the break. Yeah, but what's the logic here? You go through it. When there is a swap, that's when you break, right? When there is a swap, that's when you don't break. That's when you don't break. By when adding... I zero, keep, keep yeah. going and reset to zero. This is correct. Okay. So that should... That should work for that, but I don't think that solves the problem. Um, jump coin loop. It might be an issue in the for loop, I'm guessing. It's it like list. So I'm going to list the next one and commit the checks counter. 
Hold on, let me see this again because it does not look like any of them are sorted. Yeah, they're not. So how do you know it's going through half? At the end of the at the end of the thing, it like says how many checks it made, and then prints out the the checks counter because every time it every time it makes a comparison, it increments checks. I see. Well, it's at zero, so that's my three. This is the checks and the swaps are both at zero. I think it broke out of the. I think it broke out of the loop as soon as you initialized it, the delta swap to zero. Or did I make it worse? I don't know. I would. The next step I would suggest is try to get yourself. Yes. Okay, I'll go back to how it was. I'll just one problem at a time. More output in its internal logic. Um, for example, look in and make sure that what it's okay. actually extracting from each coin is is the value on which you want it to sort. So are we are we sure that it's it looks like yeah. it's not ever making it it may not be extracting what we want from the coins. Well that's at the it's not right. That should that should be no minus one necessary. The way it works with the zeros and the less than you don't have to do a minus one then. Um right? Yep. Okay. So let's see how checks changes now. I just should, maybe it should go one up. Okay. Oh, something's gone out of range. Yeah. I must have screwed. Yeah, that's that's why I had the minus one to okay. keep it in range. Cause it tries to because like it tries to check. Because like on the last check, it's comparing the second to last item and the last item. Oh, I see. Good. Okay. So, okay, so that's good. I wrote checks three this time. What? What did I change? Is it different every time? Yeah, it's always like approximately Four. half the list. Okay, well now we know it's based on something. So the swaps are delta swaps. To coin equals list. Well, what must be happening somewhere is it must not be making any swaps. Yeah, I think it might be like something about the if statements because new idea how about we instead of like comparing the values directly we save the values to an int or a double rather and compare those well let's just try looking at what it's getting so before you jump into the if let's let's display the values that it's actually comparing because I we're we're dealing with an object and its structure as well as the sorting and its logic. Just get value. Okay. I hope if I did not put an S on the list. Okay. So now we'll have output. Here we go. So here's our comparisons. 32 and 66, 66 and 19, 19, 92. Those are the comparisons that happen. Okay. So it's getting getting coin-like things. Why is there not a delta swap increase here? Why is it not? Uh, because the, the first one... The first if is if the first one is smaller, then don't increment it because if the first one is smaller, we don't want to switch them. Okay, so this is not business code. This is just for, for logging, basically. That's why this yes. is less than it. Okay, so it goes through each item in the list successfully. It checks it against the next item in the list. If this item is less than... Oh nope, should be greater. Oh. Than, right? Oh, that might be an issue. <laughs> Let's try that. 
five checks. Still not sorted. Okay. Twelve nine nine ninety one. Oh oh oh! It's list at i. It's supposed to be list at i plus one. Oh the, yeah. Okay, that would definitely be an issue if it compares it to itself. Okay. Seven twenty five twenty. Looks pretty sore to me. Seventy-two checks. There it is. Swaps. There it is. Oh yeah, I've had stuff like that too. That stinks. Okay. Well, I'll send you all these files over repo if you want. Um, Thanks, Ben. I learned. Uh, I learned a lot watching a very fluent C plus plus coder debug. Thank you. Uh, Would it be all right if I posted this debugging as part of our video session? Sure. Okay. Yes, that's fine. Also my, also, my my computer died. My laptop died, so I'm here on my computer. Mic check, mic check. Yep, copy. Yep. What is that name of that site? Files. File.com or something. They used, there was this really good one called Firefox Send, and you could just put a file in and send a person a link, and it would be good. But they took it down. It's not, not around anymore. Really? Yeah. File.io, was that it? That was it. This one's okay. It works like most of the time. Copy link. Mic check, mic check. Stop sure. Copy. I can hear you, sir. We gotta go to chat. Right. I'll send that over to you, there, and you should be able to download those files and uh, <laughs> paste them into your thing. <laughs> you are a fast person.